Hey guys, Steve here, Sither Tech. Today we've taken our Atari Punk console and our Chaos NAND console versions, and we have brought them into a almost no wires version, which just kind of makes them easier to build. Um, the Atari Punk console is the same as the one we make in our normal wired kind of version, but in this one, what we've done is we've used these plastic shaft pots, um, volume, and then two of the different oscillators, and also had quarter inch inputs here for some CV control and a quarter inch output. So it's easy for kind of using with pedals and also with using effects and things like that if that's the kind of guy you are. We're gonna also be using this with the Division Six business card sequencer to give us some CV. So you're gonna kind of hear how that sounds. And what we've also done is, I'll bring this over, is we've done the same thing here with our Chaos NAND. So um, easier to build, easier to put on um, just your tabletop here without any wires if you don't put it into a case. Um, you can put into one of our guitar pedal cases if you like. Um, uh, we're not necessarily offering kits like that at the beginning, but we are making these available for a simple kit and at the same price as the other ones we have. So pretty inexpensive and you can get some real fun noise out of it. So I'm going to be kind of making some patches here and showing you what you can do with these. But again, quarter inch inputs, outputs, very simple when utilizing sort of a guitar pedal effects based noise making situation. So check it out. Okay, so we're first looking at our Atari Punk console, no wires version. Um, only thing you have wired there, of course, is you have the 9-volt battery connection if you choose to use that. If not, of course, it works on center negative boss style connectors, um, which I'm daisy chaining on a one spot right now. It works pretty good. So what you got here is you have an on-off switch, volume control, and then you have two different stepped uh, oscillators, square wave oscillators, and it gives you that standard APC sound, which is sort of like a bunch of bees in a can, as it's been described. And I'll kind of show you what, that, what that's like without any control voltage input right now. So let me uh, turn it on. Yeah. You get that just square wave sound. So as you move these around, you can make some interesting noises. Really simple circuit. Anyway, so you get that. That's kind of the Atari Punk console thing. I've changed some of the values to make it, I feel, be a little smoother on some of the steps. Um, but it's still basically the Atari Punk console. So I'm going to plug it into one of the, uh, some control voltage into one of the CV inputs we have here. That's coming out of my Division 6 business card sequencer. So I've made a cheesy little sequence. Let's check it out. And depending where, obviously, your potentiometer is here on the picture set, of course, you got volume too, of course. Um, it's gonna sound different. And it's not a one volt per octave tracking thing, so voltage just kind of changes around the pitch. You have to do it by ear. And go faster. Go uh, how fun. Plus, I'm also gonna, I've also got to plug into our, our echo here our Cosmic Echo Lo-Fi pedal, and we can get some more ethereal noises. Check it out.
also, of course, some endless fun with just a simple uh, guitar pedal or uh, an echo or reverb or something like that. So you can do a lot with that. Um, there's also another place for CV input too. So you can move, move both pots at the same time if you like, and it sounds pretty cool. Okay, and for the next uh, product we have, we have our Chaos NAM, which we also have in a Eurorack format, and then also a handheld version. But this new version here, um, like the Atari Punk console, has plastic shaft pots and accessible switches and just quarter inch jacks on the front. So again, making it really easy to pair with your other tabletop devices or your effects and things like that. And the Chaos Stand, you know, it's a little more involved. Uh, it's got a CV input as well, but let's just, let's just start it up and hear what the basic sounds are. Of course, you got an on-off switch. And you've got switches which turn on and off. Uh, three different oscillators. And there's also a volume pot here too, so you can dial it in just right. So let's hear what it sounds without any effects. So if we just move this, we just have a pretty smooth square wave oscillator. We can move one of our switches over and we can add another oscillator. And now both of these pots do kind of adjust that square wave sound. Real fun kind of 8-bit sounds. And yet, of course, we can bring in another one. And it's great for drones and all kinds of things. So let's patch in um, our echo, cosmic echo pedal here, and hear how that sounds. Oh, I got turned on. Let's start making some movement. So those who are into noise, of course, this is really fun. And you can get a lot of really interesting space noises and whatnot too. But let's also plug it in to um, our Division 6 business card sequencer. You got to turn the switch off, which makes it powered by the sequencer. Um, and then let's hear how it sounds. I got a little sequence. Let's hear the sound. So if you want just one oscillator there, I can just kind of go through this sequence. Turn up the speed a little bit. And then I can get some fun stuff going on. Let's move the switch over. A little bit of harmony and such. And of course you can adjust the knobs and it'll change it. And we can go one more switch too. This will work with like, you know, BeatStep Pro or other CV sources too, or one of like our Eurorack sequencers or whatever. But anyway, a lot of fun and you can get some really strange noises. Let's turn up the uh, Cosmic Echo 2 and hear how that sounds.
Okay, again, endless amounts of fun. But really, the, the, the best thing about these products, as I was saying, is that they're, they're in this format that's just almost all of the components go right on the board, except for this 9-volt little battery connector, which allows you to use 9-volt battery stuff if that's what you want to do. Um, everything else is on there. So no wires, no case, no whatever. Just put it on your desktop, and it's super easy to go. And, of course, we're doing this both with our Chaos NAND and with the APC. Um, I'm going to do a demo with the Volca sample and just kind of show you can use these in a performance uh, way, and they're a lot of fun. So check them out. Get the kit. They're cheap.